What's going on you guys? Today we're gonna to be talking about how to get over a dry spell. Probably a pretty relevant topic considering a lot of you guys are in quarantine right now um, and so probably a lot of people in dry spells currently. So we're gonna be talking about why it's so hard to get out of a dry spell once you're in it, especially if you're a guy. Um, a lot of mental issues that are going on. Uh, and two, what are the steps that you can start doing to put yourself on the path to get yourself out of that dry spell and have sex with a nice, pretty girl, okay? So let's talk about this. One thing that I would say at the beginning is for a lot of you guys that are in this right now, your confidence is low, okay? You don't feel too good. That's probably why you, you feel like you're in it. Well, if you go out thinking, hey, I gotta end this dry spell, gotta end this dry spell, this is the time, a lot of times you're gonna be disappointed. That's not going to build confidence. What will build confidence is instead of thinking that, I would stack small wins. I would go out thinking, hey, Maybe I can get a girl to smile at me. Maybe I can get a girl to, to talk to me. Maybe I can start conversations with a girl or something like that, okay? That's a lot better than what I typically see from a lot of my students at the beginning. What they'll do is they'll see like a glimmer of hope with some, with some girl. They'll see like someone that they think they have an opportunity with. Usually this girl's got a boyfriend. Usually this girl's like just being friendly or something like that. So they put, they, they pursue this girl, they try really hard and then it doesn't work out. And so as a result, they feel bad, they feel deflated, they, their confidence gets lower. Um, and then, you know, they don't want to go out and try again because it was, took so much effort. And then the process repeats itself and that's that's how the dry spell continues but if you stack small wins build up confidence a lot of times you'll see yourself kind of building momentum okay and I would recommend talking to a variety of different women if you put all your eggs in one basket chances are it's not gonna work out but if you talk to a variety of different women express yourself to them maybe get a bunch of different phone numbers or something like that the girls that text you back the girls that stick around you those are the girls that are interested in you. Those are the girls that would probably be more likely to be intimate with you. So if you're in this position, typically what I see a lot of guys do is, uh, well, first of all, if they're there and they feel like they have an opportunity with a girl, they usually fuck it up somehow. They usually do, like, say the wrong thing or they, they self-sabotage, they think, because they just they have this streak where uh, nothing goes right for them and so maybe they overcompensate by being needy, doing all of these different things uh, and, and it doesn't work out. So that's why I recommend to keep expressing yourself to a variety of different women don't just solely go for one girl because you think that this girl's pretty and she's gonna be the answer to all your problems, okay? Stay away from that because that is, uh, usually breeds the needy behavior that scares women off. But if it's a variety of women and you kind of talk to the ones that are sticking around you, that's a lot better. Now, once guys are in this position, usually the biggest problem that I see my students encountering is they judge themselves really, really harshly. They judge themselves and they also judge the girl pretty harshly too. They say, oh, this girl's not good enough for me, blah, 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 blah. Or they, they, they think of a reason why it won't work out. Okay, now I would encourage you to not judge yourself so harshly. I would encourage you to not judge the girl so harshly. So like this might take a reevaluation of your standards. Are your standards way too high for who you are? The way you know that they're too high for who you are is if like, let's say you only go for tens, that's your thing. Now ask yourself, am I really a 10? Do I possess the qualities of one? Do I possess the, something that she would be interested in if, if I am indeed going for that girl who is a 10, quote unquote? Okay, and if you don't have those, then maybe it's time to reevaluate what uh, what kinds of girls you should be going for. Typically, the guys that I think that um, that fall into this category that have a lot of trouble are if you dated a girl who is you know whatever you consider to be really high quality in high school or in college. Maybe you were part of a football team or something like that, or maybe you had like friends who are popular or whatever it is. Like you had a good situation going on there, uh, and you don't have that anymore. And so now you're trying to get that girl again, but you're not that same person you're not your mate value is not as high as it was before so your standards as a result um, probably shouldn't be that high and if you want them to be that high then you have to do certain things to, to, to get what you had before okay uh, but for some guys it's not possible and maybe it's harder but you know if you want to work at it you can but you have to reevaluate and ask yourself that question you know am my standards being unreasonable am I going after women that are not the right people for me okay so this takes an honest appraisal of who you are and what you're going for and my recommendation you guys for a lot of you is to you know this might seem controversial but I would lower your standards a little bit if you've been dealing with a very very long dry spell chances are your standards are a little warped they're they're, they're not rooted in reality and what's going on 
And so, you know, if you do the honest appraisal of yourself and you just, you decide that, hey, you know, my standards are right where they need to be, I, I would, you know, then maybe extend your dry spell and just wait for the right person to come along, okay? But if you're doing, if you're making that decision from a place of ego, then I would encourage you to question it. Uh, but if you're not, if you're just coming from a place of maturity and understanding, then yeah, sure, keep, um, you know, keep doing what you're doing, man. But for those guys out there um, that they maybe they feel like their standards are being too, too high, then pick a girl that will be willing to be with you because once you've been intimate with somebody, you know how to go through the process of being intimate with somebody. So when you do meet somebody who you actually want to date for a long time, you know how to go through the steps of intimacy with them because you've done it before. But if you're in a position where it's been so freaking long that it just hasn't happened and then you meet that dream girl and you guys click and then now you start to think, oh, I've never been in this position, you start to get nervous, like that's uh, where a lot of where a lot of that happens. Again, I'm not saying to just go out there and be a slut. If you have an honest appraisal of your standards and they come from a place of maturity and understanding, I think that's fine. Um, but if it's coming from ego, then I would question it. Okay. So if you're in this position, again, talk to a variety of different women. See which ones stick around you. See which ones are playing ball. If you have to change, reevaluate your standards, and then go for the girl that you're going to have fun with. I mean, this dude, this happens all the time. Like, this is why women came up with the word for rebound, okay? <laughs> now, I don't, I don't know what the equivalent term for a guy is, um, maybe drought buster. <laughs> but this is basically a girl that you have no intention of dating, but you have a little bit of fun with that gets you right back in the game. You know, this is, <laughs> this is, this is what it is, okay? This is ending the dry spell. And so hopefully from the video that I've, uh, from the information that I've given you previously, that will put you on the steps to not only end the dry spell, but also to have a more successful dating life. Because there's just something about once you've been intimate with somebody, if you do it in the right way from a place of uh, fun and happiness, like that can fuel more confidence confidence and that can enhance your dating life even more. So whether you've been having a dry spell for like a couple months or years or, or maybe a dry spell since birth, you're still a virgin, I think this uh, advice would still hold true because I work with these guys you know all the time and that's generally um, the process that we, we put them on when we're putting them in. It. Okay, cool. Well, if you guys meditate, then consider subscribing. And if you're interested in getting coached by me one on one or in one of my other programs, there's a form down below. Fill it out. We'd love to hear from you. Thanks a lot, you guys. Good luck out there.